Let's talk to our buddy Joe Cavo, who's the uh, Common Council president. Mm -hmm. We need to talk to someone with some type of authority. And uh, Joe's on the line with us right now. You're calling the wrong person. I know, that's not true. <laughs> so I said, we're going right to the top. The Common exactly. Council president, who is just a heartbeat away from being the mayor. I like to remind mm -hmm. Joe of that every second that I can. Mm -hmm. Remind me of that all the time. <laughs> I know. But no, listen, we're talking about this Bob stores. Now, they're closing, unfortunate. You know, it's been there a while. So that means we're going to have a void in the community, Joe. And, a f and we got to fill a space. Now, we've had some good suggestions. A nightclub type thing. People wanted Cracker Barrel. Yeah, Cracker. That's my choice, Dave Joe. and Buster's. Yeah, Dave and Buster's. Joe, come on. I, I, Bill, I hear you. You know, the, the, the one thing that we have really going for us here in Danbury is the fact that we're one of the only municipalities that have a real favorable review for starting a new business here in the town. Mm -hmm. A yep. lot of towns in Connecticut don't have that. They're not, they're not afforded that same opportunity. We just The other day there was a, a, a study released that Danbury is the best place to start a new business. So, you know, that's, we have that really going for us. And, you know, we don't have the market cornered on all the best ideas. So it's great when you hear suggestions and get suggestions from people. You know, we, we love to have input from people. You know, I think to get to a Cracker Barrel, you have to go to Fishkill. Oh, yeah. Right on Route 9. Right. That's the coach one, right? You that's... get up there, turn right, and it's down the road a quarter mile. It's a great place to eat. Been there myself many times. Right. And a Dave and Buster's, would that would be great in there. That, that, would, mm -hmm. be off the, that would be off the chains, Joe. Now, I heard some rumor about Dave and Buster's. Really? Um, I did. I heard some rumor, but I can't confirm nor deny the, the rumor. But I, I did hear some rumblings about uh, a Dave and Buster's somewhere here in Connecticut. Well, so clean up. You know, I, it's good that it's good that companies are looking here. I mean, we got Texas Roadhouse that's going to be opening right. up. You know, it, we had the '99 that just opened. You know, you know people. But what are, would be what would be better in there than a Dave and Buster's? I mean, here's that you could bring the kids there during the day. At night, it's it's like. You know, it's like a gathering spot for millennials. Yeah. And and where it's you can drink beer, have a cocktail, Shoot play video pool. games, yep. watch the game on the TVs. It's great. Whack a mole. Yeah, whack a mole. <laughs> the whole thing. <laughs> Absolutely. And you know, we have a great office of business advocacy here in Danbury, and uh, you know they're out constantly working, you know, looking in the bushes for you know people that are interested in coming here. So we certainly pass that along to them and uh, you know tell them that maybe open up that line of communication and say hey we have a potential building that's opening up that may work for you yeah definitely spread the word cracker barrel or dave and busters i think those are those are okay. two that, that might work over there i i would love to see either one